Nsebidi, also known as Nsibiri, Nichibidi or Nichibidi, is a system of symbols indigenous to what is now southeastern Nigeria that is apparently an ideographic script, though there have been suggestions that it includes logographic elements. The symbols are at least several centuries old. Early forms appeared on excavated pottery as well as what are most likely ceramic stools and headrests from the Calabar region. With a range of dates from 400 to 1400 CE, there are thousands of Ns Ebidi symbols, of which over 500 have been recorded. They were once taught in a school to children. Many of the signs deal with love affairs, those that deal with warfare and the sacred are kept secret. Ns Ebidi is used on wall designs, calabashes, metals such as bronze, leaves, swords, and tattoos. It is primarily used by the Epe Leopard Secret Society also known as NGBE or Egbo, which is found across Cross River among the Ekoi, Efik, Igbo people, and other nearby peoples. Outside knowledge of Ns Ebidi came in 1904 when T.D. Maxwell noticed the symbols. Before the British colonization of the area, Ns Ebidi was divided into a sacred version and a public, more decorative version which could be used by women. Aspects of colonization such as Western education and Christian doctrine drastically reduced the number of Ns Ebidi literate people, leaving the secret society members as some of the last literate in the symbols. Ns Ebidi was and is still a means of transmitting Epe symbolism. Ns Ebidi was transported to Cuba and Haiti via the Atlantic slave trade, where it developed into the Anifarwana and Vive symbols. History The origin of the word Ns Ebidi is not known. One theory traces the word to the Echoid languages, where it means, cruel letters reflecting the harsh laws of the secret societies that hold NSEBD knowledge. In Calabar, NSEBD is mostly associated with men's leopard societies such as Epe. The leopard societies were a legislative, judicial, and executive power before colonization, especially among the Efik who exerted much influence over the Cross River. <laughs> Origin. The origin of Ns Ebidi is most commonly attributed to the Ajagham people of the northern Cross River region, mostly because colonial administrators found the largest and most diverse Ns Ebidi among them. Ns Ebidi spread throughout the region over time and mixed with other cultures and art forms such as the Igbo Uri or Uli graphic design. In 1909 J.K. McGregor who collected Ns Ebidi symbols claimed that Ns Ebidi was traditionally said to have come from the Uguikima, Eb or Uyanga tribes of the Igbo people, which legend says were taught the script by baboons, although one writer believes McGregor had been misled by his informants. <laughs> <laughs> Status Nsebd has a wide vocabulary of signs usually imprinted on calabashes, brass ware, textiles, wood sculptures, masquerade costumes, buildings and on human skin. Nsebd has been described as a fluid system of communication consisting of hundreds of abstract and pictographic signs. Nsebd was described in the colonial era by P.A. Talbot as a kind of primitive secret writing. Talbot explained that NSEBD was used for messages, cut or painted on split palm stems. J. K. McGregor's view was that, the use of NSEBD is that of ordinary writing. I have in my possession a copy of the record of a court case from a town of Enyan taken down in it, and every detail is most graphically described. NSEBD crossed ethnic lines and was a uniting factor among ethnic groups in the Cross River region. Topic Uses. Topic Court cases. IKPE. NSEBD was used in judgment cases known as IKPE in some Cross River communities. McGregor was able to retrieve and translate an NSEBD record from Enyong of an IKPE judgment. 
The record is of an IKPE or judgment case, a the court was held under a tree as is the custom, b the parties in the case, c the chief who judged it, d his staff these are enclosed in a circle, e is a man whispering into the ear of another just outside the circle of those concerned, f denotes all the members of the party who won the case. Two of them g are embracing, h is a man who holds a cloth between his finger and thumbs as a sign of contempt. He does not care for the words spoken. The lines round and twisting mean that the case was a difficult one which the people of the town could not judge for themselves. So they sent to the surrounding towns to call the wise men from them and the case was tried by them J and decided, K denotes that the case was one of adultery or number 20. Ukara <inaudible> epe <inaudible> NSEBD is used to design the ukara epe woven material which is usually dyed blue but also green and red and is covered in NSEBD symbols and motifs. Ukara epe cloths are woven in abakaliki, and then they are designed by male NSEBD artists in the Igbo-speaking towns of Abariba, Arichukwu and Ohafia to be worn by members of the epe society. Symbols including lovers, metal rods, trees, feathers, hands in friendship war and work, masks, moons, and stars are dyed onto ukara cloths. The cloth is dyed by post-menopausal women in secret, and young males in public. Ukara was a symbol of wealth and power only handled by titled men and post-menopausal women. Ukara can be worn as a wrapper a piece of clothing on formal occasions, and larger versions are hung in society meeting houses and on formal occasions. Ukara motifs are designed in white and are placed on grids set against an indigo background. Some of the designs include abstract symbols representing the Epe society such as repeating triangles representing the leopard's claws and therefore Epe's power. Ukara includes naturalistic designs representing objects such as gongs, feathers and manila currency, a symbol of wealth. Powerful animals are included, specifically the leopard and crocodile. In popular culture NSEBD was the inspiration for the Wakandan writing system shown in the 2018 Marvel Cinematic Universe film Black Panther. Examples of NSEBD Below are some examples of NSEBD recorded by J. K. McGregor and Elphinstone Dayrell for the Journal of the Royal Anthropological Institute of Great Britain and Ireland and Man. Both of them recorded symbols from a variety of locations around the Cross River, and especially the Icombe district in what is now Cross River State. Both of the writers used informants to retrieve NSEBD that were regarded as secret and visited several Cross River communities equals equals gallery